What's going on guys? Dan with PC Tech Hustle coming at you with another video and today as you could probably tell by the b-roll you just saw I got a rusty looking video card looking pretty new again and I wanted to take you through the process of how I actually did that and by the way if you're here because you're looking to take some rust off your video card or if you enjoy any other PC Tech related content make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and tick the bell notification icon that way you never miss any of my latest content other than that let's get tearing into this video card knock off that rust and get it looking brand new okay so let's see what we got here keep my eye fix it kit going and unfortunately we will be removing the screws here that uh, maintain the warranty though I think I've read and heard that that doesn't actually apply either at least in the United States or wherever else so we're just gonna take it off couple things to unplug okay fan shroud removed actually quite a simple fan shroud remove I kind of like that let's take a look at the Heat sink here doesn't look like any kind of rust though this is like nickel plated so I'd imagine actually probably we may not find any but since we've gotten this far might as well go yellow and clean it up while we're at it since we've already opened it just trying to gently peel on the here it has to the die there we go okay and we have the heat sink completely removed so actually it's looking perfect like there's nothing really wrong with it at all Look, clearly hasn't been removed before but there is no rust anywhere which Definitely shows that the heat sink has a plating to it at least. And the bracket or back plate here does not. So that's good. I'll just clean off the thermal paste and we'll reapply this guy, knock off some of the dust. So let's pull off the bracket here because that's the part I want to get the rust knocked off of. Looks like everywhere else we're actually still in pretty good shape. So let's take this guy off. Okay, set that aside. Bracket is pretty loose now. We have a couple more screws. Now we just need to come over here. I'm gonna pull these port plugs off since they'll have to come off anyway. Set that aside. And then lastly, we need to remove a couple of screws here on the back side. One. I'll probably let that sit in the vinegar too since it's got some rust on it. And now I got rust on my screwdriver. And I think the last thing we have to do is we have to back off the DVI port screw thingies, whatever you want to call them. Go. And here comes the bracket. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the 
quartz. I don't see any visible rust really. So we only really had it on the bracket here, which now we can get a good look at. So as I mentioned, we're gonna put this in some vinegar and see if we can knock this stuff off without having to do any kind of scrubbing so we can retain the, the look and shininess of this. So that'll be next up, we'll get to that. All right guys, so we're here in my kitchen real quick. Got me just a basic plastic Tupperware bowl, cleaning vinegar, um, multi-purpose cleaning vinegar, so you can use this kind of for anything. And then the parts I want to de-rust. So let's fill up this bowl here with enough vinegar to fully submerge the part. Let's place it in real quick and see how much further I need to fill it up. Just a little bit more. There we go. Maybe just a tad bit more. Okay, and then we had a couple screws that had a little bit of surface rust on them too, so I'll just toss them in. So, it's, this should work its magic in about 30 minutes or so. So we'll come back in about 30 minutes and see if we can just just rub that, uh, that rust right off. So we'll see what happens. All right, so it's actually been about an hour. So let's see where we're at with this. Just got a microfiber towel here. I'm just gonna see if I can just kind of stand this up and wipe that rust off. Oh yeah, it's coming right off. Got a little bit of particulate on the towel. I might have to let it sit a little longer. Some of this is still kind of on there pretty good. Just kind of scrubbing it. The microfiber towel, the idea is I'm not gonna scratch a finish or anything. That's working pretty good. Ooh, it's definitely a strong breathing in. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit a little while longer now that I've kind of agitated it up a bit. Kind of let it get in there a little deeper. See if there's any on the back side, I don't believe so. But let's take a look at these screws that had rust on them. Yep, coming off. So, getting there. It's definitely looking a lot better, even if I were to just leave it as it is right now. There's still some rough spots. Shoot, I can almost kind of just scratch them off, but like I said, now that I've agitated it up pretty good, I'm gonna try to let it sit in there. Remove the rest of that rust. All right guys, so while we let the bracket sit in the vinegar for a little while longer, I just kind of want to pan around and show you guys where I think this guy was using this as a mining card in a garage or something. It may be hard to pick up on the camera here, but let me see if I can see where those kind of uh, looking imperfections are on, looks like almost dust or dirt on the heat sink. I noticed that when I was blowing. I mean, the heat sink is pretty clean. I actually went over it with a brush in alcohol, but that stuff didn't quite come off. And then I got to looking at it and I took my spudger from my iFixit kit and I started scraping off what looks almost like paint primer. So this, uh, this has definitely been a bit more of an adventure than originally planned of just removing some rust, but Though there wasn't any rust on this, because it's plated, um, there was definitely something on it, because I also noticed it, I should have got a shot of this, but also noticed it on the fan blades, though I've cleaned these up now, but there was like some spotty paint-like material on the backside, so I think the guy kind of cleaned up the front, made it look presentable for sale, 
which again this card actually really wasn't that bad and i probably wouldn't have even taken it apart had it not been for that rust but what i did notice is you know this stuff here on the heat sink too so i'm gonna try to kind of scrape it off and like just wipe it down with some more alcohol and probably call it a day as far as the heat sink is concerned but thought i found it interesting so you never know what you're gonna get sometimes with used hardware Alrighty, let's take a look at where we're at after about another 30 to 40 minutes of soaking. I feel like uh, it's still got some spots here that are stuck. I mean, I've definitely knocked off like probably 80% of it. Still kind of spotty a little. It's not completely clean. I'm gonna do is maybe try to scratch on these a little where there's still some uh, spotty rust. Yeah. There's definitely some roughness to it still. So, I think I want to let it sit a little more. It's definitely at an acceptable level where I could put this back on the video card and be completely fine. But, it doesn't hurt to let it sit a little more, I guess. See if I can lift up some more. Probably not let it sit another hour. So we'll be back in an hour and see where we're at. Okay, before I let it sit for another hour, I got an idea. I'm gonna use my spudger, kind of the handy tool I've been using so far to kind of scratch on the surface a little bit. Since this is plastic, it shouldn't scratch the actual metal, but kind of kind of accelerate the the areas that are kind of being stubborn right now. Maybe that way I can really help let the vinegar get in there and hit those those tough spots. I can definitely see some rust coming up as I'm doing this. This is effective. So hopefully this will help lift those spots up. Hopefully this doesn't isn't too damaging to my spudger. I might add just a hair bit more vinegar as well. Try to maybe hopefully up the acidity level. This also says it's 6% acidity. So I don't know if there's actually stronger vinegars. I'd imagine so. Hopefully that'll kind of help keep the acidity level up to penetrating those hard spots that are still kind of sticking to that piece of metal. So we'll see where this gets us here in a minute. Alrighty guys, we are now done with the vinegar soaking and scrubbing and I think I got it about as perfect it's going to get without actually sanding it and refinishing it. So a couple things I noticed with it. I think these are actually uh either plated or have some kind of finish coating on them because of how shiny it was to begin with um the vinegar didn't remove it luckily but what was interesting it kind of almost feels like there's damage like as if something like kicked up on this and caused an opening in the finish and caused the bare metal to be exposed so that's why one i was very surprised to see some type of rust to begin with and that be the, being the only place where I saw rust and secondly um, how I'm not able to completely get rid of these kind of pits so I would say though we got ourselves a pretty good finished product so kind of get a little closer here I'll get you some close-up shots but it's definitely looking pretty good so after the vinegar was done I pulled it out uh, rinsed it heavily in water to basically dilute the acid from the vinegar that was sitting on the metal so that way over time you know something wouldn't happen like corrosion or anything like that and then actually i took some car polish of all things um and just coated it with that and and polished it up so i have some meguiar's two-step uh cutting compound and finishing compound now i wouldn't necessarily mean you have to go to the level of like doing a cutting compound or anything like that but probably put something on it like a polish just to kind of protect the metal since you had kind of hit it with some acid and i was scrubbing on it so 
um, but pretty happy. So I'm gonna get this put back on the car and get the card fully assembled and then we'll have some like B-roll of the finished product and this will go into my next build. Alrighty guys, so obviously the results are in and this card is looking great again. No real major signs of rust and I'm actually really, really happy with the results. So I definitely learned something regarding vinegar and rust removal. I actually had no idea previously. So I hope you guys learned something and as well as I did and hopefully this video was informative in that way. And before you go, make sure you check out some of these videos here that one in, in particular dealing with some parts cleaning that I did before. And make sure you do the YouTube thing too. Give me a like, give me a comment. I definitely want to hear about if you've had some similar experiences with PC parts or just removing rust in general. Other than that guys, thanks for tuning in to this one and I'll catch you in the next one.